Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are looking at a bit of a toy game engine that was released a few weeks back, a viewer pointed out to me, which by the way, thank you for that. Now this one isn't going to be making AAA games anytime soon, this one is all about creating games all in one environment, completely in your browser, completely for free. Now the underlying HTML5 game engine is completely open source, and the editor is available in a couple different forms, we'll get back to that in just a few minutes, but what we're looking at is BitMellow. And again, not going to set the world on fire with the kind of games you can create, and it's in early access, so not all functionality is there, but it's got a pretty robust, robust set of features already. So let's jump in and take a look. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can access it at bitmellow.com, and just come on in, hit play, and you can hit the example game that they've got in here. Uh, sorry if I blow your ears out with some of the graphics, but you see, walk around. Yeah, let me just turn that down a little clip. And you can pick things up. Pretty simple, straightforward, easy game. You can see over here you have a tile editor for creating all the various different tiles in your game world. So if you wanted to create one more, you just come on down here, click here. You can create multiple tile sets, by the way. You've got your color palette over here. You can add more colors as you need them. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to create a tree. So obviously I'm going to need some green for that. And then we'll just start drawing some tree tiles. And we need a little variety here, so let's put a little bit different green in there. And let's put our trunk in there. Now, if anyone ever said I am not an exceptional artist, tell them they lie. So anyways, here is my new tree. So now you could head on back over to the tile map editor. And again, you can create multiple tile maps. So we have just the one right now. And I could go ahead and paint my tree in the world. Unfortunately, what is missing as of right now is layers. So I can't layer tiles on top of other tiles. Hopefully that is added in the future. But there you see how you can add your tile in or you can grab a selection of tiles and paint them back out accordingly. Unfortunately, that lack of layering is a little bit annoying. Uh, you can create multiple maps, as I said earlier. You can create another one here. Uh, we can name it, so my map, and we can change the size of it, change the size of the tiles, and so on, but that's kind of basics of it. Now, we saw back here when we walked around, there is this sound when you move. Well, what I can do is I can come over to the uh, sound editor, and you see we've got a walk sound and a pickup sound, and what I can do is I can just modify the waveform. So you heard the old sound, now we got a new sound. Yeah, let's make that really annoying. All right, so now I'll go back here and play, and you will see different sound playing when we play it. Now, unfortunately, there is currently no way of actually recording your audio here. You could just uh, make a new one and then, or play back your audio, I mean. So you can obviously create a new one. We just did it. We could go ahead and add a new sound here, name it, and then we can just shape the waveform as we wish. And there's also this cool keyboard down here for playing in your sound mode. Unfortunately, there is no way to record your audio yet. So this is definitely one of those coming soon features. You can also see each of the keyboard keys over here is powered by a key over here. So Z, X, and so on. So you can record sound there eventually. It's not quite there yet. And then finally, we get into the coding aspect of it. Obviously, this is browser-based, so you've got JavaScript as your programming language. You'll notice over here, uh, you've got the code that is controlling this particular example. It's pretty straightforward and clean code. Uh, the cool thing here is your editor itself um, has pretty good uh, uh, auto completion, as you can see, like so. Uh, you've also over here, you've got the documentation for the various bits of the game engine. So you see here, that was the quick start. And then each little area. So if you want to get some inputs for snippets of code, here's some instructions on moving around. Uh, here's some code on the actual input handling, for example. Uh, or sprites or sounds or so on. All of the information is over here that you need to, to write your code. So it's a pretty straightforward and clean environment in that regard, but it is a traditional JavaScript style scripting environment. And then we come over here, here is your project. There's where we could go ahead and create a new one. I will do so in just a second, but you'll see here, um, you can export out your project data that you just created. So basically we'll save this as a JSON file of everything we just did. And then so if I wanted to come back and reload it later on, I could basically just import it back in and uh, send it back up. So you can save your game out there. Also, you can save it as a single HTML file that you will then go ahead and play your game. And then finally, we can go ahead and create a new game from scratch, name it up here, pun not intended. Uh, you set your tile size as you wish them to be. So we got 22 by 22 tiles. You set your width, your device scaling on that. You can hide the cursor or not. It's pretty straightforward, pretty clean. Uh, you can have a click to start or not. And then your game is there. Now, obviously there's there's nothing in it uh, because I haven't created anything. So now it'd basically be a matter of uh, you'd come in, you would start creating your tiles, and then you would start creating your tile map from your tiles. And then you create your game audio. 
and you name it obviously, and then you start stringing it all together using the code engine. Pretty straightforward and simple process, but you know what, it's a capable enough system, and again, you can export out when you're done over here. Now the specifics of it itself, you can learn more about it in the about right here, but we're gonna go through all that right now. So first off, the underlying HTML5 engine is here. Um, so if you just wanna work with the JavaScript portion of it, the game engine is here for making small pixel art games, and the documentation is also available here. Uh, and it, it's again, it's pretty well documented. I always like to see uh, decent documentation for games. That's not very common on a lot of smaller open source projects. So in addition to that, there is also the editor. The editor is an Electron file. It is under a different license. This is under uh, licenses.txt, the end user license agreement for blah, blah, blah. And it's under the GNU Afero GPL license. That's actually not one I'm familiar with, but if you come back to here in the about section, uh, they explain the Bitmelo Editor is licensed using an open source available license. The license allows you to download the source code for personal use, but does not allow you to distribute it to third parties. In addition, three years after the release of each version of the editor, that version is dual licensed to use the GNU Afero GPL. Um, so there are limitations on the editor, but not on the engine. The engine itself is fully under the MIT source license. And that is definitely a cool thing. Uh, and then finally, uh, if you want to just download the editor uh, and have it run as an Electron app instead of running it in a browser, so if you want to run it like an application, it is available up on itch.io. I will make a link available to this. It is under a name your own price, and that price, of course, could be zero if you so wish. Again, this is early access, so it is currently in early access right now. It has everything you need to make a minimal game, but more features are planned in the future. Um, and like you said, so you can't record in the keyboard yet, but you can get a little bit more details of what it's all about here. So again, I will toss all all of these links uh, in the comment down below. Pretty straightforward and clean thing today. It's a very simple uh, web-based 2D pixel art tile-based game engine that is a work in progress. It was just released a couple weeks ago. It'll be interesting to see what features are added to it. Anyways, that is bit mellow. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.